Shoulder. On the card, I indicated a topic, the topic being STL County at Work. This is the web address of a YouTube video showing, if not respect, but lack of respect for the taxpayers here in St. Louis County. Shenanigans is what law enforcement tied into this event. A county employee without a badge proceeded to collect campaign signs for the opposition. He ignored the other guy. Be that as it may, Mr. Stinger's treasurer was mentioned by name by this county employee on this video. If you care to look at it, it's on YouTube. Shenanigans? I, I really don't think that's an appropriate term to use. Here in the county council, you are all part of this system. But are you impervious? No. <clears throat> you do something wrong, the consequences are there. We won't vote you back. Congratulations to Mr. Stanger. He ran a great campaign. But there is a consequence. Failure to respond to the citizens in his district could have given him a greater margin. Repeatedly, since August, phone calls have been ignored. His aide paid some, what, $70,000? You want to cut some budget? Start cutting the aide's income. Make them work and respond within 72 hours of a complaint. You need to wrap it up. This seems to be the norm. Charlie and I, we've had, well, Mr. Dooley, I'm sorry. Charlie Dooley and I have had several conversations. He's acted on them, sometimes not as quite as quickly, but he does do the job. You can contact me at that phone number, or you can respond in writing, as was promised before, whenever I went into a committee meeting that I never was notified of. If you're going to respond, let me know. If you're not, tell me the truth. Don't play the game. Conservatives have spies just as well as the other side. All right, we then. find out. Thank you. <coughs> Mr. Chairman, the, yes. the episode that he's referring to was on private property and a county employee who was doing his job, uh, one of our inspectors went out to a, a private property where it did happen to be a member of my opposition. I heard about the story secondhand and he removed the opposition signs from property that he did not have permission, private property, not the right of way, private property that he did not have permission to be on. So I think he was well within his rights to do that, but that's Thank what you. happened. Okay. And that's what's on the video. All right. Next speaker, Tom, Tom Sullivan. <clears throat> Mr. Chairman and members of the council, the $1.1 million for the St. Louis Convention Visitors Commission will be a complete waste of money. I urge you not to approve it. Last year, the hucksters at the CVC got you to approve $250,000 toward a $750,000 party the commission gave for association executives. It was supposed to result in more meetings and conventions for St. Louis. The CVC is unable to produce a single document that shows anyone attending the big party has brought any business to St. Louis. And when asked about other documents regarding the party, they say it will cost $1,450 a week, payable in advance, and it take about two weeks for them to provide the documents. It seems they have something to cover up. Honest people don't have the need to cover things up, but I don't know if there are any honest people at the Convention and Visitors Commission. Now the Hucksters are back again this year wanting $1.1 million for operating and marketing costs. 
The money would be better spent in St. Louis County. Spend it on the parks. Tourists certainly use county parks. For every dollar you give to the CBC, that you will see $88 in return, say the Hucksters. You might recall in 2007, the council gave $2 million to the CBC, and a mere $57 was promised for each $1 given. Has anyone seen the $114 million? For more than 20 years now, the people of this area have been told that investing in tourism and convention facilities would pay big, pay, pay big dividends. They have all been false promises. The city is more broke than it's ever been and has fallen out of the top 50 cities in population. In St. Louis County, people, jobs, and revenue have left in record numbers and continue to do so. The county lost just not population, but 88,000 jobs in the last decade. Sending more money down to the CVC would make little sense. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Tom. We're going to introduction of bills. Bill number 275, introduced by Councilmember O'Mara, an ordinance authorizing the county executive to accept a grant of up to $3,000 from the Office of State Courts Administrator, appropriating the same for support of multidisciplinary training for the family court, and authorizing the county executive to execute necessary documents. Bill number 276, introduced by Councilmember O'Mara, an ordinance authorizing the county executive to accept a grant of up to $706,138 from the United States Department of Housing and Urban Development, HUD, under HUD's Supportive Housing Grant Program, appropriating the same, authorizing the county executive to execute necessary contracts. Bill number 277, introduced by Council Member Wassinger, an ordinance amending Title Eight, St. Louis County Revised Ordinances 1974 as amended Peddlers and Solicitors Code by enacting and adding one new provision to Schedule One. Bill number 278, introduced by Councilmember O'Mara, an ordinance amending ordinance number 25,121 by repealing and reenacting section one pertaining to a grant from the Missouri Department of Public Safety for support of a forensic scientist, crime laboratory equipment, and materials for the police department. Bill number 279, introduced by council members Dolan and Burkett, an ordinance amending St. Louis County Vice Ordinances 1974 is amended by repealing and reenacting sections 7.14620.2700.717.010.717.030.717.050.717.050.718.020.722.040.722.050 pertaining to discrimination by county contractors or in connection with housing or public accommodations or county employment or hate crimes. Mr. Chair, that is all the bills. Uh, perfection of bills. Bill number 90, introduced by Council Member Stanger. I move to perfect bill number 90. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Ayes have it. Motion carries. Bill number 90 is perfected. <laughs> bill number 271, introduced by Council Member Quinn. I'd like to take it up. I move perfection of bill number 271. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Ayes have it. Motion carries. Bill number 271 is perfected. Bill number 272, introduced by Council Member O'Mara. I'd like to take it up, move for perfection. Bill number 272. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? <clears throat> Ayes have it. Motion carries. Bill number 272 is perfected. Bill number 273, introduced by Council Member Stanger. I move for perfection of bill number 273. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Ayes have it. Motion carries. Bill number 273 is perfected. Bill number 274, introduced by Council Member Quinn. I'd like to take it up. I move perfection of bill number 274. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Ayes have it. Motion carries. Bill number 274 is perfected. Final passage of bills. Bill number 267, introduced by Council Member O'Meara. I'd like to take it up. Move for final passage of bill number 267. Second. Roll call, please. Council Member Irby? Aye. Council Member Burkett? Aye. Council Member Wassinger? Aye. Council Member O'Meara? Aye. Council Member Dolan? Aye. Council Member Stanger? Aye. Council Member Quinn? Aye. Mr. Chair, on Bill number 267, there are seven ayes. Bill number 267 is finally passed. Bill number 268, introduced by Council Members Wassinger and Quinn. I move for final passage of Bill number 268. Second. Roll call, please. Council Member Irby? Aye. Council Member Burkett? Aye. Council Member Wassinger? Aye. Council Member O'Meara? Aye. Council Member Dolan? Aye. Council Member Stanger? Aye. Council Member Quinn? Aye. Mr. Chair, on Bill number 268, there are seven ayes. Bill number 268 is finally passed. Bill number 269, introduced by Council Member Burkett. This time I move for final passage of Bill number 269. 
Second. Roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Burkett? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Mara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember Stanger? Aye. Councilmember Quinn? Aye. Secure on bill number 269, there are seven ayes. Bill number 269 is still in pass. Bill number 270, introduced by Councilmembers O'Mara, Irby, Burkett, Dolan, and Stanger. I can take it up and move to final passage, bill number 270. Uh, second. Roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Burkett? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Mara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember Stanger? Aye. Councilmember Quinn? Aye. Mr. Chairman, Bill number 270, there are seven ayes. Bill number 270 is finally passed. <clears throat> Here we have no additional resolutions this evening, so we'll move on to unfinished business. Item number one, fourth district. Uh, receive file and change of managing officer be approved as requested. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? I say that motion carries. And in a new business this evening, Mr. Chair, we have one prepared order. Mr. Chair, uh, I move for the adoption <coughs> of order number one, and this is in regards to next Tuesday's meeting of November 20th uh, to be held at 3 o'clock p.m. in the afternoon. Is there a second? Second. Oh, second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Ayes have motion carries. Order number one is adopted. Move we adjourn. Second. second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Ayes have motion carries. We are adjourned. We'll be back here in about three minutes <laughs> for our 6.30 meeting. St. Louis County Council special meeting, public hearing, 6.30 p.m., fiscal year 2013 budget, November 13, 2012. Uh, call to order. Uh, roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Here. Councilmember Burkett? Here. Councilmember Wassinger? Here. Councilmember O'Mara? Here. Councilmember Dolan? Here. Councilmember Stanger? Here. Councilmember Quinn? Here. Mr. Chair, we have a quorum. In accordance with Article 8, <laughs> Section 8, Point zero three zero of the St. Louis County Charter. The council is required to hold a public hearing to receive comments from all interested persons who wish to speak on the recommended 2013 fiscal year budget for St. Louis County. Uh, at this time, I'll call all the speakers up, and we have none. So that will conclude the public hearing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for thank you for coming. <laughs> Is there a motion to adjourn? Uh, so moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Ayes have a motion. Carries. We are adjourned. <laughs> <laughs>